Hey guys, welcome to another video. This video is going to be about the achievement related to Chai Wang or Duke Chai, which is imprisoning him. Now, as a prerequisite, I already got to the new area, which is relatively basic and it should not be that hard to do, so I will simply skip it. Now, for what you want to do once you reach this point, we ignore how big this text is. There are two main quests or side quests you want to do first, just to save some time down the line, which is head down into this escort mansion, skip all the dialogue, inquire about it, and well, we can do this later on. And then we also want to head to the sea goddess temple, talk with the lady and help out her son. Those two individuals are going to be necessary evidence for later. Okay, I need to actually talk with her. They are necessary evidence for later on to convict him. So we inquire about this. We can also immediately do that quest, which is simply to play dice, I guess. It's essentially gambling. Her son basically got addicted to gambling, is gambling away all the money instead of studying and so we are supposed to help him out, here he is, we intervene and then we play uh, dice or we gamble for him, the idea is to ba win back the money he lost, which is 20k. Now hilariously enough, after we finish this quest and help him, he will give us the 20,000 bucks. And for imprisoning Duke Choi, we will also get exactly 20,000 bucks. So, it's really questionable, the reward. We get the same thing for doing this weird side quest as for imprisoning a major duke and a major noble. Now we can skip this as well. Now there are some additional side quests in the city, but we can simply skip them right now. Now we can head to his mansion, which is up here. Now you could get an invitation via challenge, but you can also state your name with enough uh, fame. You can enter. If you pick the second option, you will get a plus 10 plate start, but well, it's a fight you need to do, which very basic. So it's essentially a skill book that can be obtained on any path. Here you can see it in the chat in a moment. Blade increases by 10. Now we can skip the rest of it. Now it's important you pick the second option. Something is not right. Here you plan to remind the guy. And I just skip all the dialogue because you really don't need it anymore. Like, it's nice to read it the first time just to get some additional lore, but not that necessary. Now, basically, the general told us that a camp of his is being under attack from the southeast barbarians, so we want to help him out. So we first have to exit the city and we will get ambushed on the way, which is interesting. It does not matter how you move, you will always get ambushed. At first I thought it was only if you moved in a straight line, but that is not the case. Also ignore how some people or some enemies have Chinese names or they have English names. It's very incomplete, the translation once more from this new area. We can see another good example of it in just a moment. Skip more dialogue. Head to the camp. Skip even more dialogue. A random fight against some fauna, I guess. Next up, we want to head to the May Pass port, or Pass Post, which is the initial area you go to when going to this region. Just skip and I yeah, auto save happened, so it takes a bit longer.
Now after this fight we are supposed to kill the remnants which are still in this area. And I feel like there was some sort of oversight with it. Now why do I say it? First of all, Chinese names and they do not attack. You can even if you want to do it, uh, try to assassinate them. But it's pointless, just start a battle and then kill. But it feels so weird that they are not hostile at first. And they have Chinese names, so perfect. But you can see this whole place is on fire, so we want to salvage it more or less. Sadly, it's not like one single battle, but multiple. In fact, in this region, another two are coming up. So like six, which is a bit annoying, but so be it. And now the next fight, which is this guy, he thinks we were the ones plundering and burning down this uh, village. But then he realizes we were not the one with the help or persuasion of some of the local merchants. And then we skip even more dialogue. Now we can head back into the city, go to the general again, tell him what's going on. And he's like, yo, you are very reliable, I could use your help. And so that's what we continue doing. And we get 20k money in the end, which is very worthwhile. Besides uh, 20k, you see it already, Bargy Quick Palm. For this route, in total, you will get three manuals, which are the Bargy Quick Palm, the Heaven Engulfed Hand, and the Cloud Piercing Finger. So, Fist got a lot of laugh with this update. Your People's Palm will be stronger than ever. And well, now we are just heading to the inn again where we were. They're like investigating individual um, or different aspects of the whole story. So we will now head into the main mansion, try to find some evidence. Go over here into the study. Realize we can't find evidence. Leave again. Get forced into fight. Which, yeah, it's a level 75 enemy, interestingly enough, so not bad for a servant, not bad. And by the way, there's a new girl, but she's very much not killed, but heavily injured in the end. Um, by the way, it's not really that important which you pick, you lose wisdom if you pick the wrong one. So, yeah, does not matter. Um, now, since we are already in this bamboo garden, a thousand bamboo creek, whatever it's called, we can also head down here. Oh no, my benevolence sank. It's annoying. How did it sink? Whatever. Um, we do the quest with the escort. If we head over here, we can find the abandoned card. Also, we will find the best pet soon. But we don't care about the pet. It's actually the best pet by far. It has the highest speed and also grants the main character a good buff. Um, okay, we already talked to the escort guy since the horse is already back. You can recruit it there. And so we now have the escort guy and the sea goddess uh, woman who are going to help us out. Now we will simply pass forward a whole day. Soon, TM. And then well, uh, up to Chen Shu. And now this is quite cool actually. Now you pick the bluffing option, so if you want to read the dialogue, best to do it yourself. The uh, clerk from the Duke mansion now escapes. He even has help from the people in the desert, the gloomy old man. So it would be interesting to see if encountering him here first would lead to a different outcome in the desert. I doubt it though. 
but the Clunor old man is not faster than us, so we are managed to catch up. But so do the other random guys, like my party members, like force party members. And now we have obtained some evidence and we can wait for the trial on the next day, also at Chenshu. Perfect. We can simply head in here. There is evidence, obviously, which is the silver found. He's of course lying. And the first escort was an issue. And here you can see it. Chimes. Machinery was well calculated. But you were superior and neutralized. It looks so AI translated. Why superior and neutralized capitalized? Same with machinery. Don't ask. Critical capitalized. Why is it capitalized? Yes. But this is now the new ending you can obtain. And here comes the part which I find confusing. The general wants to recruit us. He's like, oh, we are like, I'm not that interested. Please accept this money. Now I have a trade which grants me 10% more money. So he only gives us 20k. But here you can also see we obtained the heaven and gulf hand and the cloud piercing finger. Like I said, those are the three manuals you obtain via this route, which is Barge, Quick Palm, Heaven and Gulf, Finger, clear, Cloud Piercing, Finger. If you actually decide to help the Duke, you will obtain the Nothingness Staff as well as the Weapon D in Kite. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.